All right, it's Noker 381 chainsaw. Something I've been working on. Check out the channel. Tell you all about it. Some stuff I've been doing with the factory. Getting the gas tanks to stop leaking. Getting carburetors where they'll tune right. And uh, I sold one about three years ago to a guy. And he, I traded them out on the side of the road because he said he couldn't get the carburetor runner right. That's a video on the channel. That's the only one I've sold. The only one that I got money for. And she always tells me, whoa, whoa, don't overfill. And I always overfill. You know, these two caps are two different sizes. The smaller one's the oil. So you get it where it'll sit in there. You get it where it sits in and, and people say, oh, that's obvious. If somebody can't figure that out, then they don't need to know. And then you turn it till it locks and then you close it like that and it's, it's, it's secure. These things are kind of tricky but they, they go a certain way so you just kind of let them sit till they sit down then you turn them this thing has to be able to swivel freely so then you turn it like that and then you can latch it like that and then it's in there except for i just didn't fill it up with gas yet because i forgot but what you see at the metal and wood channel is what you get real live action right now we're doing no editing so we're doing some pauses now and then but we're doing no editing some people like that about the channel. And uh, guy called me with the FBI the other day. Well, he works with him. He's not a special agent. But he wants some chainsaws maybe. And he was talking to me. He's like, I guess you kind of got a personality-based YouTube channel. And I said, yeah, I guess it is. It's kind of just like a real, a real live uh, uh, YouTube channel. I hope I didn't say UPS channel. I might have. Uh, all right, you coming down? I need to. You need to come down. You want my hand? You gonna jump? You gonna jump on camera? No. You gonna slide down? Slide down on the poison ivy bark? There you go. Okay. She wants me to cut these branches before it gets too dark. So I figure if I got, if I got Howard's excavator that he bought for me, propping us up. Now I want you to be able to film this. If I'm gonna cut, I want you to be able to film this. I don't want to waste that film. That good Kodak film. She's saying, hurry up, hurry up. So. Make sure you get good footage of this, because people think this noker is junk. And it's, it's not. Just, it's not junk, is it? No, uh, she's shaking her head. Are you shaking your head? Mm -hmm. You're shaking your head. No, it's not junk, right? It's not junk. Because your husband doesn't work on junk, right? Is that the reason? Are you going to say something or no? Yeah. Okay. You're good. Say it loud enough so the people. You're can good. Hear you. Okay. Thank you. I just needed a little <laughs> extra praise from my beautiful wife. Oh, compression hard. sharp anymore. I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough to handle this. position. I'm going to reposition and take it out over here. Oh, got to be up. Got to be up. Oh, hold on, hold on. 
Hold on. Hold on. pressing up against it's just I was trying to cut it as close to it as I could there's just no bite to it what are you pointing at just say it. the other branch the other branch cut the other branch yeah it's a good idea yeah I could cut two more branches if you can get in here we got I do it okay the tree 